Hi everyone, good morning and thank you for joining us if you're here. Um, my name is Michael Sloboda, I'm the Assistant Director of New Student and Leadership Programs here at Lamar University and today we are going to be talking to you about orientation, one of the best times on campus, the best time on campus and we want you all to be a part of it. So what we're going to do today is pretty much just talk to you about orientation, why it's important, what it is and you know it's the big first step in your, your new Lamar journey and we want to make sure we can share that with you. So this is kind of a sneak peek of what that can be and how you can be a part of it. So I'm just kind of here. It's really about <laughs> these guys today in the red polos, um, spotlights on them. These are our orientation leaders. These will are going to be the people you will see on campus. I'm super excited that you're here running around being the, the faces of Lamar. So I will let them introduce themselves and then take it from here. Hi, I am Kenley Gibson. I am a chemical engineer major on campus and I will be a sophomore in the fall. I'm from Orange, Texas and I, the reason I chose Lamar is I live close but it really was on my priority list because it has such a great engineering program and I, got, I came here and the more I'm here the more I love it. So. Hi, I'm Landon Richard. Um, I'm a sophomore here at Lamar University. My major is general business with minors in marketing as well as entrepreneurship. And the reason why I chose Lamar is because I have four older siblings and they all went to Lamar University. So whenever I was looking for colleges, I knew Lamar was the perfect fit for me. So. All right, my name is Madison Hamby. I'm a senior psychology major with a minor in business. I hail from about 15 minutes away, Fort Natchez, Texas. And I chose Lamar because I came from a small community. I came from a tight-knit community, so when looking for colleges, I really based my decision off of where I was going to find that same vibe, if you will, and Lamar has been become a part of my family, and that's why I, I think I belong here the most. So for our new students out there, these will be the people that will guide you, be the first people to guide you through your process of getting to Lamar and making it what it is for them now, making it feel like your home. So. They're here to be your future best friend. We'll just leave it at that. And they're, they're ready to do that. Um, so let's get started and just have, tell me a little bit about what orientation is, just what people can expect that day and why it's important, why it's something that they, they need to register and need to do. Well, I believe, first of all, whenever you get to orientation, be ready for a lot of energy. We're gonna be all energetic. You're gonna see a lot of smiles. Um, we're going to try to make sure that you have the best experience ever and you need to register for orientation if you haven't already because you have to get your schedules, don't you? You want to take classes, don't you? <laughs> so you need to be in the place. You need to go to orientation. So Yeah, yeah I think it's really important uh, for a lot of people, especially those coming from you know Houston or places farther away, connections are the most important thing you can have coming into a new experience and orientation is the first step to making those connections. You're going to be exposed to not only us as students that are already here, but new students entering the same new experience. So you definitely want to take advantage of an opportunity to meet people that are going to be on the same journey that are starting at the same time as you. Oh yeah, and I know coming from high school to college can seem like a big jump, but when you come here, you can ask any question that you need. You can talk to us, personal conversations, anything. We're here to tell you as much information to help you that make your ease to from high school to college as easy as possible. Yeah, and, and also, we've made it kind of a one-stop shop, so you can come here, like I said, if you're coming from Houston or farther away, I think we've had our farthest trip that I've heard of so far is like a 14 hour drive. So <laughs> if you are a 14 hour drive away, you want to only have to come, you know, once for summer. Yeah. So you can come get your ID picture taken. You can come turn in all of your paperwork. You can obviously get your schedule. This is where you need to get your schedule. So we've kind of made it that opportunity for you to do everything all at once, make it a really easy place to get started here at Lamar. I think y'all hit the nail on the head. I think the big thing, as Landon said, you get your schedule at orientation. <laughs> so you need to register for orientation. Um, when you come, you'll meet with an advisor. They will take you through the process of you know, making sure your class schedule works for you. You will receive your schedule that day. You walk out to your car with your schedule in hand, ready to go for the fall. So that's a huge part of orientation, but as they all said, it's about the connections. It's about getting ready for this big jump in, and transition in your life. So those are the major components, but the one thing, you get your schedule. So we need you here to do that. Um, so we're talking about you need to be here and it's gonna be great. So how do you do it? And Madison, 
walk yes. us through how we can do um, it. I'm going to queue up on our computer screen here and show you guys where you can actually uh, uh, register for orientation. So uh, I'm on the main page here of lamar.edu, which is our website. And so we actually have our sign up for orientation as our main banner, which is amazing because it's you know right here and you can see it as soon as you get on the website. So if you'll just go to the link lamar.edu slash orientation and then scroll down, this is our web page for new student orientation. Just go to register today, which is the gray banner on the screen and you will pop up in LU Marketplace. And from here, you can see all of our dates that are still open. So we have June 28th, uh, June 29th, July 26th, July 27th, August 2nd, and August 3rd, which is our transfer session. And all of these are available for you to register as well as you to register your guests at. So I'm just gonna click our June 28th session here. And then for the quantity, it says right here on the screen, but just in case, uh, students are allowed up to two guests. So when you register, you can register up to three people. So yourself and two guests. So I'm going to put two here and then add to cart. And from here, it'll ask you for some of your information. So uh, I'm going to put in my name here. Uh, just a random L number. When you put in your L number, please make sure that you put L and then your L number. You should receive your L number with your uh, confirmation letter that you get and also in your email you should also have that information but definitely look for it so let me just okay <laughs> and then I will put my major in and then an email and okay so for here, from here, you'll see the name of each attendee for tags. So you'll put in your name and also what type you are. So obviously, if you were registering, you would do student registration. And then registering a guest is just as simple as, I'm going to put Michael because he's right here in front of me. Okay. He's going to come with me to orientation. <laughs> great. It's going to be a great and time. And <laughs> you'll, you'll click the drop down and you'll go to guest registration. So make sure that you are specifying that. And then if you have any special accommodations like needing a Spanish translator, ASL interpreter, or something else, we have that option for you to click there. Okay, so for, from there, it'll take you to your cart and it'll show you what you have registered. So here, I'm registered as a student, and then here, Michael is registered as my guest. So you'll go to checkout from here, and then it will ask you for more of your information, like your delivery address, all of that fun stuff. The most important thing is on this page is our, your email. So your contact information, that is how you will get your confirmation that you registered. So please, please, please make sure that you put that in there and you put the correct one. So check it, double check it. And if you're feeling really just fantastic, check it one more time. So from there, <laughs> it'll send you to your card information and you can input all of that. But that is just the breakdown of how you register, how you you know put in your guests and all of that. If you have any questions, you can obviously email our office, call us, at, uh, and we will answer any of those extra questions. But it's a pretty basic process. It's all online. It's all really easy for you to access there. I think two other important notes I just want to make with the registration process. When you're filling out your major, please make sure that is an accurate major because that is how we make your schedule. We make your schedule based upon that major. So please make sure your major is accurate and up to date and we'll kind of go over that a little bit again when we go in a little bit more. And then also um, we mentioned our transfer session which was on August 3rd. Transfer students are not required to go to orientation. Um, transfer students are able to contact our academic advising center and set up their schedule um, individually so we just want to make that aware we highly highly encourage transfer students to go to orientation for the same reasons we've said before you know to build those connections yeah you kind of have been to a university before but universities differ so we want to make sure you're getting the information that's pertinent to Lamar University so while you may not be receiving your class schedule you still will be receiving information that's you know important for you to be successful here at Lamar so we just want to make sure that's um, known as well anything else to add on the registration process that's it. That's Pretty simple, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So um, for those of you that may just be tuning in and joining us, we just want to let you know that we're here talking about new student orientation here at Lamar University. Um, we'll quickly reintroduce ourselves for those of you that are just joining us. Um, my name is Michael Sloboda. I'm the Assistant Director of New Student Leadership Programs here at Lamar. 
I'm Kenley Gibson. I'm a chemical engineer and I'm going to be a sophomore in the fall. Hi, I'm Landon Richard. My major is general business and <laughs> I'm a sophomore here at Lamar. <laughs> and I'm Madison Hamby. I'm a senior psychology major and I am a student coordinator. So we're out here talking about this, this great old time of orientation. <laughs> and you're like, okay, great, what is that? Well, we're here to tell you. So we're gonna talk about what your day's gonna look like at orientation. Um, but let's start by, I'm, I'm curious, I wanna know what y'all's favorite part of orientation is, as an orientation leader or even as you know a student who's gone through orientation here at Lamar. I'd probably say my favorite part is small groups. It's, we all get together and you get in a little group of all upcoming new freshmen, so we kind of start off icebreakers, kind of make it fun, but you can say anything that you need to say about Lamar, any worries, questions, but that's when you really start getting to know people that you're going to be around for the next four years. And so from there, um, at my orientation that I even went to, I made some friends there that I am still friends with, and that kind of is kind of like the kickstart to really coming into college. So I love small groups. Um, I would honestly. I love lunch, y'all. <laughs> lunch is my favorite meal of the day. And we actually have lunch at Lamar University in the Brooks Shivers Dining Hall. It's buffet styled, guys. <laughs> Whenever I found that out, my first orientation, I was so, so excited. So because <laughs> I got up so many times and I wasn't I, I wasn't ashamed. I wasn't embarrassed. <laughs> it is a buffet style. So they have they have pizza, nachos, uh, rotisserie chicken. I, I'm telling y'all. <laughs> be ready for something because <laughs> I'm speechless right now <laughs> <laughs> well I think we can all agree Landon is passionate about a lot of things lunch being at the top of the list um, for me I think the, uh, the organization fair that we have the connection fair towards the end of the afternoon is one of my favorite parts just to witness because we have so many student organizations here on campus that are so involved in the, the building of Lamar and what Lamar is all about. And this is the time for students and their families to come and get to know where they want to be, where they're going to fit in. And getting to watch those conversations happen, those meaningful conversations of like, I could see myself here next year. I could see myself back at orientation as a member of this organization. It's such an important time for you to find your niche, find your place here. Awesome. So those are just a couple things that you can look forward to the day of orientation, but walk us through what else happens throughout the day. Okay, so we start off in the theater and we have our morning welcome where we really get everyone all together, everybody ready, give you your basic information for the day, and then uh, we move off into Kinley's favorite part of the day, small groups. So uh, our students split off and uh, get to talk one-on-one -on -one with orientation leaders in a, in a very small group, very you know intimate place where they can talk and, like she said, have those worries aired out and, and solved. Uh, then we go to Landon's favorite part of the day, uh, lunch, <laughs> <laughs> and where you get to enjoy a, a very wonderful meal prepared by our staff here. And then from there, uh, we go to connect with cards. So that will be a, a larger group activity where you really get to interact with everybody that's at orientation, all of the new students at once. Uh, and then we have the resource and organization fairs that happen at different parts of the day. We have so many resources here on campus for students to take advantage of and you get to meet those, those resources and get to know what they're all about. And then obviously the organization fair that I spoke about earlier where they get to see some of the organizations and you know what their missions are and some of their members. Then from there we move to, uh, during the resource fair we actually have breakout sessions. So if you have more specific questions that you want to get to know about, like we have one about Greek life, we have one about our star services here on campus and all of their uh, auxiliary resources. So if you have more specific questions, you can go to those breakout sessions and really get to know a little bit more about what they're about. And then throughout the day, one of uh, all of our favorite things is giving stuff away. We have lots of free stuff that we want to shower upon you as gifts for being a part of our family here at Lamar. And those will happen <laughs> throughout the day for our parents during our parent sessions and our parent panel. We have stuff to give you. We want to give you this stuff. So please come so we can give it to you because we have some awesome swag. Uh, students actually get a swag bag at the beginning of the day that has you know goodies and you can just collect as you go throughout the day so you can you can get a pretty good stash by the end of the day mm -hmm. 
So I think Madison gave a great overview of what the day entails, but we also have a video that gives a visual overview of the day. So we will play that for y'all. Picking Lamar was probably the best choice that I could have made for myself. I already made a lot of friends just being here and it's made it feel a lot smoother, a lot less intimidating. And everyone here just has that Southeast Texas hospitality. It feels like a big community being here. They really seem to be hands-on caring, uh, whether it was the orientation group or the instructors. So what we did at Lamar was just at the orientation was an uh, overview about the whole campus. We played many games that just connected us and introduced ourselves more. When everybody was singing and dancing. That was the best part. They're very entertaining and they just made everybody laugh. And then we got to like go to different sessions, like meet our dean. We got to like have free lunch. We went to residence hall tours. It was just great. And then we had small groups. It was one-on-one -on -one communication in a group setting and getting to know each person individually while letting them bond as a whole. It was incredible. Ever since we got off, you know, from the our cars in the parking lot, there was, all, there was somebody waiting to greet us. Getting to meet new faces and meeting new people that are going to be in my major and I'm going to have classes with, it definitely helped out a lot. I think kind of, it cut the tension a little bit. It helped the transition uh, coming in and helped get the nerves off. The way, you know, the parents had their own session for the questions and answers. Yeah, I was happy with everything. With this, you get hands-on, you get other parents asking questions, and you get a staff that's really engaged, so it was very beneficial. I was impressed with the way everything was organized. We took a lot of visits to different universities. Comparing y'all to the other universities, y'all did a fabulous job. At Lamar, we make sure that the parents know that we're taking care of their kids. We have security, we have every resource that they'll need. He's met two friends today, how about that? So making friends, I do believe that he's gonna adjust and I feel a whole lot better about him being here at Lamar. The orientation and everything's been a great help for us and for him breaking the eyes. And I don't see him being nervous, I see him feeling comfortable and anxious to start, so everything has helped a lot. Again, if you've not registered yet, you can easily do so at our website, www.lamar.edu slash orientation. Follow the steps there. There's a big button on our website that says register here. Um, we still have a bunch of sessions left to open. We have June 28th, June 29th, July 26th, July 22nd, August 2nd, and August 3rd, which is our transfer session. So please, 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 to be a part of the action, to get this experience and to get your schedule, um, yeah. make sure to register for orientation online. Um, so kind of going back to something that wasn't really broadcasted in the video or a general overview is our parents and family members because I'm sure the people that are we'll probably have some parents and family members watching out there too that are going to urge their students to register, right? Um, so, but we do also have resources for parent and family members at our university. We have a separate track for the day for our parents and family members that do decide to join their student for their step. Um, unfortunately, you don't get to spend a lot of time with your student that day. I know you're crushed, heartbroken, but we're trying <laughs> to start that process a little bit, right? Um, but we want to make sure our parents and family members are also feeling secure with their student's choice to choose Lamar University and how they can be a supportive parent throughout this process. Because this may be your first student going to college, this may be your 45th student, no, that's a lot of kids. This may be your seventh <laughs> student going, that's a lot of children. That's just the number I go to. But you get what I'm saying, it may be your fifth student going to college and you're a pro at this right now. But it may be your first student going to Lamar University and again, navigating colleges is different also for the student and also for parents and family. So we do have a separate check just designated for our parents and family members as well. Yep. So you may be wondering, where should you park? <laughs> where, where should we park? I don't know. Um, well, I think that you should park, and everyone is going to park in front of the... <laughs> <laughs> definitely should. Yeah, I think you definitely should. The Recreational Sports Center, it is probably on a map on the Lamar Maps. Yes. And I am actually going to pull up the map for you guys. So you can get to the campus map on the main webpage. There's just a tab at the top that says Campus Map. So this is what it'll pop up. 
to. And if you're driving down Jimmy Simmons, which is this street right here, uh, this is the recreational center parking lot in, in the purplish hue. And that will be where we will be asking you to park right here is our recreational center on campus. And right here, so actually where we are, you can see our little people park marker right here. This is our assessor center. So we will be asking you all to park in this recreational parking lot. And from that, we will have our orientation leaders take you to our theater, which is right about here and that's where we will get the the morning welcome started so just to, yet again to reiterate this parking lot right right here is where we'll be having you guys park if for some reason we do need overflow parking lot the uh communications parking lot which is this parking lot right here is also a place for you guys to park and we also have several lots on the other side of the street of jimmy simmons boulevard where you will also uh, be able to park so so you may be wondering, like, how will I be led to orientation? Well, if you see red poles in a big red tent and a guy flailing his arms like the dancing man, I think yeah. that's what it's called. It's, it's, it's not a human. It's not a human flailing arms. Blow it's a man. blow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I should have said that. But you can't miss this, guys. And we'll, like Madison said, we'll walk you over to the theater. Mm -hmm. So whenever you come to orientation, please make sure that you have your orientation receipt with you. Also, yes. bring an umbrella because in Southeast Texas, it rains. And when it <laughs> rains, it pours. And we don't want to drench. So bring an umbrella because uh, you never know what could happen. So make sure you look at the weather app or any other. You watch your local news. But if you're not from Beaumont, you get what I'm saying. This <laughs> just your local that. news might not be super helpful, but... <laughs> right. I mean, stay up to date on yeah, current information date. anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, but bring your picture ID and, of course, bring a positive attitude. We're all going to be trying to hype you up right when you walk in the door, but go ahead and bring a smile on your face because it's going to be a great day. Yeah, and I would say definitely an open mind is a good thing to have coming here anyway because uh, whatever thoughts you might have about Lamar coming into it, we are going to try to give you as much information to make this the best experience possible. So be ready to take that information in, be ready to start off your college experience on the right foot. That would definitely be my advice to you. Yes, and then these are things that you can bring and stuff, but if you're like me, you're always wondering, what should I wear? Because <laughs> I, I thought that for the longest time, but definitely you're gonna be walking around a lot and almost all day. But so definitely wear something comfortable, wear tennis shoes, wear walking shoes, anything that you feel comfortable in. And then wear some Lamar gear. Show some spirit already. You're coming here. You're getting hot. Heck on. Heck on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, wear your, your Lamar gear is definitely encouraged for orientation. Yeah. And if you're familiar with Texas summers, uh, it's, it's hot. I'm not going to lie to you. It's hot. And it's a little humid, so um, come prepared to experience nature. <laughs> <laughs> so a Lamar t-shirt, maybe not a long sleeve, maybe yeah. not. Just right. use, your better, use your better judgment. <laughs> <laughs> but it may also be helpful as hot as it is out there. Um, our buildings are air conditioned. Some people do, do say it gets a little cold in the theater and in the set. So definitely a jacket would be helpful as well if you want to carry that around throughout the day. So we do kind of put you through. The ringer when it comes to the temperature <laughs> um so definitely you will be walking around a lot so outside wear t-shirts shorts but then be prepared to maybe have something to put on as well when you're inside some of the buildings throughout the day yes so uh, some of the things you'll need before you come to orientation so some of the things we ask you to bring or be prepared with before you come your pre-advising form which will help you get advised when you go to your academic overview session uh, your uh, major needs to be finalized so if you have any major changes if you have a change of heart and you want to go from you know a business major to an art education major way to go you're doing amazing things we need to make sure that you have that finalized before you come so we can get you the right schedule that fits your major also your meningitis shot if you have not done that please 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 get that done and get your records ready to go you can bring those to us at orientation and turn them in here you can send them to records at lamar.edu just make sure you get that done we that is a requirement that all college campuses have so we want to make sure that you are all taken care of and you can become a college student and also your tsi so if you are tsi required we do ask that you take that test and get your records sent to us at least two weeks before your scheduled orientation date. Again, so we can make sure you're put into the correct classes. Your schedule will be up to date and as uh, prepared as possible for you when you get here. 
And finally, like, get excited. This is college. You're, you're doing it. You're doing the college thing. It's a huge deal, a huge opportunity. You've made it this far. High school, check off the list. <laughs> you did it. You never have to go back again. So uh, make sure that you're excited. Make sure that you're ready to go when you get here and ready to take on this new experience and make it what it's worth. So that's pretty much what orientation is. Gave you an overview of what you can expect that day, um, what we need you to do beforehand, and the great experience you are going to have at orientation. As we've said multiple times, your first major step on your Lamar journey. Um, and we want to do whatever we can to make this place feel like your new potential home. So get excited, like we said, get excited. And make sure to register. Um, <laughs> again, you can register online at www.lamar.slap. Whoa. Dot edu. Dot edu. Yeah, you got it. Words. We're good. <laughs> Words are good. Lamar. Edu <laughs> slash orientation and click on the big register button. Um, we still have some sessions available at the end of June, end of July, and also the beginning of August. So please, 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 if you've not done so already, make sure to register. So come to orientation. All the fun stuff happens. Then there's the next steps, right? We are your first stop of getting you adjusted, but what can you do to continue making your college experience great? I know the first semesters, it can be a little difficult and we do what we can in orientation to make sure you're prepared for that, but there's other resources and opportunities out there that you can take advantage of to make the most out of this experience. And tell us a little bit about what some of those things that students can do to really hop into Lamar University and get involved and engaged. Honestly, I'm a commuter. And being a commuter, I was a little afraid that um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be able to be in, as involved as a student that lives on campus. And honestly, whenever I went to look, or the first time being at Lamar, like the first week, I saw so many great things, so many organizations I talked to at orientation, and I got involved. I went to the football games. I brought my rally towels, and you'll have your rally towel <laughs> and your swag bag, students, and you can wave it. You know, but. Um, there's just so many opportunities and yeah. yeah you'll new students who are going to live on campus I lived on campus and I still will but you'll move in Friday August 23rd and once you move in there'll be the whole move, move in process and then from the 23rd through Friday August 30th is what we call week of welcome mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of fun games social events academic activity there is so much there that you can get involved mm -hmm. in and meet new people because you're going to be around these people and you want to be involved because college, yes, you came here for your degree and that is your total main mindset is to get your degree done as best as you can. But while you're here, have some fun. There's going to be some activities you can. We're going to be there. We're going to help be there. You kind of, at your orientation, you're going to meet us. So you'll see us there like, hey, I know those people. Yeah. But yeah, come here, have fun. And of Week of Welcome, there is freshman games and yes. when you come <laughs> so excited for freshman games when you come to orientation you'll you and your small group will be kind of told what team you're on there's different teams oh there it yellow, is yellow team Love bowser <laughs> team toad but yes they're all more they're all mario themed but it's it's going to be a blast sign up for freshman games at the resource or organization fair that's at your orientation but yeah, other stuff at Week of Welcome, there's so much. So there's a tradition here at the New Student Convocation, and the, the president of the university will be here, the provost, uh, a lot of important people that you'll get to lay your eyes on, maybe meet, and that's New Student Convocation, so that happens the, b before the first day of classes on Sunday, and you will... You know, it's your formal welcome into Lamar University into our family here. So uh, please make sure that you're you're attending that. It, it kind of helps you say, okay, let's do this. Like let's get this college thing started. We also have, like Kenley mentioned, tons of events that you'll be able to participate in. Uh, uh, our office will be hosting many. We have the Cardinal Activities Board on campus that is always 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 very busy at keeping you guys involved there's also several other the rec center is going to be hosting some events during week of welcome too so if you're interested in literally anything there will be something there for you i recommend walking around campus because you will see everything going on and you'll want to jump in too uh some stuff i know that we're doing we're doing it we have a hypnotist coming so if you're into like <laughs> i think 
Do they, they make you like talk like a duck, walk like yeah, a duck. It's so yeah. cool. Yeah, that's that's really cool. yeah. Maybe yeah. like bring up some childhood memories from your past. I don't really know what goes on, but like it sounds cool. Uh, we also have the first football game, which will be happening uh, during week of welcome, the first week of school too. So there's something for you to be involved in, definitely. Definitely. Best thing with week of welcome. Everything is free. Yes. yes. If free is not your favorite word now, it will be when you get to college. <laughs> yes. So everything we provide during Week of Welcome is free, as everyone's mentioned. Just a time to have some fun and relieve some of that stress and during the first week of classes. We really want to make sure we're doing what we can to make this feel like home. Um, and we will have more information to come on Week of Welcome. When you come for orientation, we'll talk a little bit about Week of Welcome, freshman games, all the fun stuff. But we also will have um, updates on our website at lamar.edu slash wow for we go welcome. Wow. 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 Um, so we go welcome is great. It's kind of the first week that you really have a chance to see all the opportunity that's ahead of you on campus. But talk a little, talk to me a little bit about what happens after that. What else can students do in their first semester to really make this feel like home? Well, uh, just speaking from my personal experience, I wanted to take my first semester to just kind of like get the feel of what was going on. Like college is, college is a big change from you know whatever you've done before. So getting your bearings is super important, but there's also several ways you can get involved. Uh, academically speaking, we have tons of events on campus that are more focused towards helping you become a better student. We have our academic success conference that you can attend. We have several you know academic sessions and, and things like that where you can really find who you are as a student, which is super important. Like Kenley said, you're here to get your degree and we wanna get you graduated and on to becoming a Lamar alumni as soon as possible. Uh, but there's so many other things. You can find student organizations geared towards your major and get involved with those your first semester. Everything can happen as soon as you want it to. You go at your own pace and you find your balance, but definitely find your tribe. That's how, what I tell everybody. Find the people that are going to help you succeed and student organizations are the best place to do that. So uh, visit the student org office, which is in upstairs in the Setzer Center. Uh, find some people that will help you get to where you wanna be. It's definitely an important step your first semester. And also, Lamar University has so many job opportun opportunities. If you're interested in getting a job, I know in college you want to collect some coin, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you want to be able to go out with your friends to the state fair because that happens in the springtime. Good um, food, man. Good Woo! food. So oh. Y'all don't want to get me started with food again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The lunch flashback. <laughs> I know. But there's so many opportunities here at Lamar University. I'm, I'm telling you, through the social media, LU underscore leadership, I found out about this position. I found out that um, orientation leaders, I could become an orientation leader. And I was so excited. I went through the interview process and it was just so much fun. And meeting new people, getting to know different resources that we have on campus, you know, just being reminded of it because I learned about them at orientation. But, uh, <laughs> you know, there's just so many opportunities here at Lamar University. So, like Madison said, get involved, yes. talk to people, network, because college is what you make of it. If you only Absolutely. dip your big toe into the puddle, that's what you're going to get. But if you dip your whole foot, there's so many opportunities. I know that may not make sense, but you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Cannonball into your Cannonball. college experience. I'm telling you. Yes. I'm telling you. So to be here, to go through orientation, to get involved, to experience Lamar University, apply. If you have not done so already, there's still time. There's still time to be a part of this adventure, to go to orientation and to experience everything that Lamar has to offer. Apply. Um, you can go to our website at lamar.edu slash admissions um, and they will walk you through the process of how to still apply, get accepted, and get here for the fall. So please, 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 if you have not done so already, apply to the university. If you've not done so already, apply for, not apply, register for orientation. <laughs> yes. um, everything can be done online. It's a very smooth process. Additionally, um, if you're still looking to before orientation, make sure to look into your housing options. All first year students are required to live on campus. There are some exemptions that can be found on the website, but it, you should be looking into what your housing options are gonna be if you're a first year student. So please, please, please make sure to do that as well. Um, but we thank you all so much for taking the time to hear us out on orientation and Lamar University and everything that we have to offer here. But just 
in some closing and some wrapping up, I would like to hear, I think y'all should give one piece of advice to our incoming Cardinals. What would you have told yourself then that you know now? That is very deep. It um, is. <laughs> it is. We're cannonballing. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Straight into the All deep end. Let's do it. I'm on the deep end. <laughs> For me, I think it's kind of just reiterating what I said before. Find your tribe. Uh, these people are my tribe. They have helped me become the person I am today. Uh, I grow every single day as a part of this university, and I think that that is largely due to the people I have met here, the experiences I've had through those people that I've met. And so I definitely think finding the people that not only share your interests, but you know, share your beliefs, share your values, share your passions. It's so important to find those people because they will ultimately help you become more yourself. So find your tribe. That's definitely my piece of advice. Yeah, kind of coming off of that, that was a big thing for me coming into college because when you come in and you go to your first classes, be open to talk to the people around you. Um, talk to the people sitting next to you, get to know them because you're going to be in this class with them for an entire semester and more than likely you're going to want to study with them by the time exams come and really anything for the class. But I highly recommend just being open to anyone around you and any opportunity that arrives because college is the time to branch out and take new steps and do new things. So I I'd highly recommend doing that. So in the beginning, um, in the beginning of my college experience, I would sometimes eat alone because I'm the type of person that I like to gather my thoughts, you know, get to know people before I make the approach. However, I, if I could talk to myself, like older Landon, I'd say, Landon, talk to those people. Go sit with random people you don't know. You know, get involved with other people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so just, just talk to people guys I mean yeah just breathe and yeah. go for it breathe. <laughs> breathe but it's kind of like what Landon said college is what you make it so this experience this campus your classes the people you meet they are all going to be opportunities and right. if you don't seize those opportunities you will miss out so whatever you do just like throw yourself into it do the college thing 100 percent. i guarantee you'll get something out of it you'll be a better person because of it definitely awesome well, thank you guys so as we get ready to tune out um just a couple last minute things register for orientation online um lamar.edu slash orientation you can do everything online follow us on social media lu um, underscore leadership LU underscore leadership for all of our platforms. Um, that's where we're going to be putting a lot of information um, come this semester to find out more about Week of Welcome and what we have going on on campus. So make sure to follow our social media platforms. And again, if you're still not to the point where you've applied to Lamar University, make sure to do that. You can still be a part of this experience and, and be here with us in the fall and see us at orientation. Have all the fun you want. So with that being said, we thank you all so much and we'll talk to you soon. See you at orientation. See you at orientation. Bring, it in. Bring, it in. bring it in, guys. Bring it in. Oh, bring it in. Okay. Co-team on three. Co-team on three. One, two, three. Co-team! Co -team. <laughs>